So on this episode, obviously the title states we're going to be debadging the Forester. Anyone new to this series, what we're doing in this series is that we're rebuilding this Forester to kind of be a memoriam of my first Forester, which I'll put a picture of right here. That Forester was totaled about five years ago, and I've always wanted another one, which is why I bought this car. We're making this car a memoriam of that Forester with the white wheels, having it slammed, and having it be an SF5 the same year and everything, even with the same colored tan interior. And one of the things I done on the Forester was I debadged the entire thing. Now we're not gonna debadge the entire car on this car, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna take off both the Foresters on each side. And then we're also gonna be taking off just Forester L all wheel drive on the back hatch. Now we're gonna leave the Subaru badge on the back hatch because that little chrome piece kind of goes along with the chrome on the lips and then also the chrome on the front grille. So that way we have a piece of chrome on every corner of the car so it all matches well. First off though, if you noticed, I have the entire sound system pulled apart because the amp on this dual sub blew up. And now the sub doesn't work anymore and it bothers me because the sound system's not good enough without a sub. The way I found out the amp was blown is because no matter what fuse you put in it, it blew the fuse immediately no matter how high the fuse was. And I followed every wire throughout the entire car to find any possible shortings, which there were zero. And then I plugged in a different amp that I had in the garage to see if the amp was blown. And this amp works fine, which means this amp is blown. What I'm gonna try to do is I have this sub pulled out. We're gonna cut these wires from the other amp, extend them out the air channel, put this back in there, and we're gonna wire this sub to this amp. A little cheat way it's gonna be kind of cool plus this amp is kind of cool because when it's on the alien lights bright light up bright it looks kind of sick which will probably mount on the back of the seat so you'll be able to see it which will be kind of cool also a cool little feature that this amp is gonna have is it comes with a controller that I can now control how hard the amps going while I'm driving as you can see we have it just kind of mock wired up to make sure everything works we cut these out of the box and just kind of twirled some extensions together into the amp. Amp works. Just played some music. And the freaking sub works too. So we're going to, like I said, extend them through the air hole on the side of this right here. And then we'll be going into the amp from the air hole. And then put the sub back in. It'll all look normal. I'm super happy that this worked out because, holy crap, I was pretty upset that the amp blew on that because the sound system sucks without a sub. So now that we know that this works, it's time to clean it all up. So that is all done now. As you can see, just have the wires coming out of there. It's kind of ugly, but it's gonna work for now. It's gonna be totally fine in my opinion. Now we have a controller to turn up and down the volume of the sub, which will be nice, which I'm just gonna 3M tape right there, which I'm not gonna show because it's just kind of pointless. But we're actually gonna get to the point of this episode now, which is debadging the Forester. So we're just gonna heat these up with my heat gun and then start pulling them off. Those came off super easy because it's a hot day today in Utah. So now we gotta go get some stuff to get all the goo off. All right, we got the other side off. We got this side off, spraying goo gone on. So now both sides are soaking in some goo gone. So we get all the crap off. Well, my phone shut off because it got too hot, but we've got that other side done. The passenger side done, as you see, and this side's pretty much done. I'm just about to go ahead and take the back emblem off. Because I don't want my phone to overheat again in the sun, this is before, and that's after. But it also looks like I'm gonna need some, uh, one of those sticker peelers, or sticker scrapers, a plastic kind of exacto scrapers to get the rest of this off. And it looks like it pulled some paint, which I can touch up with a paint pen but goo gone and just a rag isn't getting these edges off. But I can go do that later. And also left these holes, which I forgot about, where it said Forester. So I have to get little rubber pins to go on those, but you can kind of get an idea of how that looks from 
the back now. So that's gonna be end, be the end of this episode of Granda. Ooh, she looks good, debadged. The sound system works amazing again. The sub works again. So I'm really happy about that. And it's so much nicer having that controller that's gonna be down by my feet or my leg, I guess. It's so much nicer to have that there so I can turn it down if I need to, turn it up if I want to. But thank you for watching, everyone.